uh, James, you actually bring up a very interesting point there that uh, you've got reams of paper and sketches and hand-drawn uh, uh, interpretations of, the, of the, what would be the finished result. That's unusual too, because you don't use CNC in your uh, in your create, creating the the basically the blueprint for your watch. So your all the tolerances, which are microscopic, have to be figured out and planned on pen by pen and paper or pencil and paper before you go into the uh, the process of starting to shape, form, create. The, the actual watch case or any of the the components so um wh wh why have you chosen to to go the, the traditional route this is a good uh, question because uh, when i worked in industry making things uh it was a prototyping department so we'd have basic machines rather like the that home there uh yes. and like a and a mill and stuff there was no cnc work there at all because the amount of time it took to maybe uh, program a cnc set it up mess around you you know, you could have just made the thing on like a manual machine. So, you know, you just sort of sketch out what you want, you know, sort of what they call like a fag packet sketch. Um, and you'd sort of draw out, okay, fine, what's the problem? What do I need? Just draw it out. I uh, think, okay, these are my working tolerances. Get on the machine, cut metal. And uh, then, you know, within 20 minutes, you can provide a solution for somebody that if you'd use the CNC machine, it would maybe take a day and a half. So, uh, yeah, it's very, very quick prototyping. And it's that method of thinking 3D in your head okay, what's going where, what clearances do I require here? Um, yeah, and I'm sort of fairly lucky and be able to think 3D quite easily. So, it, it, and it's very valuable for problem solving, uh, especially when you're making things. If you know what you can make, you know what the machines are able to make, uh, you know that you can make tools to then make something else. Uh, you can problem solve in a variety of different ways. And it's all those skills that you can bring together to then think, okay, right, well, I can make a case, but I need to make a few different setups and jigs and tooling to be able to make that case and it's knowing how to do that uh, and it's that that you can only get from say years of making things and working out yeah. problems and having horrible mistakes and yeah. etc so uh, yeah well, it, it, it's, it's brave to, to do that